Brett Kavanaugh's accuser on Saturday agreed to testify before the Senate. Now her team and the Judiciary Committee must hammer out how. Lawyers for Christine Blasey Ford reportedly wanted Kavanaugh to appear separately first, and she wanted to be questioned by senators, not outside counsel. The committee had given Ford a Saturday deadline to decide if she would testify. Republicans began to bemoan the delays, with Chairman Chuck Grassley tweeting late Friday, quote, five times now we have granted extension to Dr. Ford. We have to fight for him. And the president appeared to be losing patience as well, tweeting Friday that Kavanaugh is, quote, under assault by radical left-wing politicians and questioning Dr. Ford's story, quote, if the attack on Dr. Ford was as bad as she says, charges would have been immediately filed. That tweet sparking a backlash. I thought that the president's tweet was completely inappropriate and wrong. One of the undecided votes in the Senate, Republican Susan Collins of Maine, said she was appalled by it. But we know that allegations of sexual assault are one of the most unreported crimes that exist. Meanwhile, on Friday, women supporting the nominee praised his character and cast doubts on the allegations against him. The Brett Kavanaugh I know dated my sister and some of my closest friends during high school and college, all of whom said that he treated them with nothing but total respect and decency. Ford is accusing the Supreme Court nominee of sexually assaulting her over 30 years ago, claiming he pinned her to a bed, groped her, and tried to cover her mouth when she screamed. Kavanaugh forcefully denies the allegations, calling them, quote, completely false. Ford and Democrats had demanded the FBI investigate, but Republicans rejected the idea. Judge Kavanaugh has not asked to have the FBI review these claims. Is that the is that the reaction of an innocent person? It is not. Despite the growing scandal, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell on Friday said the Senate is plowing ahead. Judge Kavanaugh will be on the United States Supreme Court.